Lucas, Luke 10. After these things, Adonai appointed other seventy also, and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whither he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore El Yahuwah of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse nor scrip nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter first say, Peace be to this house, and if the son of peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house, and into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, the kingdom of Yahweh is come nigh unto you. But into whatever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleaves on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of Yahweh is come nigh unto you. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Chidam than for that city. Woe unto you, Chorazin! Woe unto you, Bayat Sayad! For if the mighty works had been done in Sor and Sidan, rather Sidan, which have been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Sor and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Kafar Nachum, which are exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to Sheol. He that hears you hears me, and he that despises you despises me, and he that despises me despises him that sent me. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Adonai, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the Ruachoth are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. In that hour Yahusha rejoiced in the Ruach, and said, I thank you, O Father, Yah of heaven and earth, that you have hid at these things from the wise and prudent, and have revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for it so rather for so it seemed good in your sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knows who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he turned him unto his Talmudim and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that at ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which at ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which at ye hear, and have not heard them. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Rabbi, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the Torah? How read you? And he answering said, You shall love at Yahuwah Elohecha with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, 
and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said unto him, You have answered right. This do, and you shall live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Yahusha, And who is my neighbor? And Yahusha answering said, A certain man went down from Yerushalayim to Yericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levi, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Shomoroni, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. Which now of these three do you think was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Yahusha unto him, Go, and do likewise. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Miriam, which also sat at Yahusha's feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Adonai, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Yahusha answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, you are careful and troubled at about many things. But one thing is needful, and Miriam has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her.